Bobby. How's your job in the crappiest outdoor mall this side of the Mississippi treating you today? Oh, you know, living the dream. Just happy to be employed, I guess. How's the east side treating you? Sunglasses shack still busy as always? It's dead in here as usual. I can't believe we both have jobs at this place. Yeah, we're total losers. Hey, screw that noise. We can find new jobs anytime we want. The sky's the limit, right? Isn't that the tired old cliche you used when the craphead dumped me? Well, it's true. The sky's the limit, Star. You didn't need him. The guy was a total drag on you. Yeah, well, he was my drag, though. And now I don't have any drag at all. I need a drag. You don't need a drag, Star. But, um, speaking of drags, I saw him here today. You, you what? You saw who where? Um, well, I saw your ex. I saw Thomas walking around the mall. Wait, what do you mean? B be more specific. Uh, well, I was over by the front windows putting out the new stuff for the spring sale, okay? Ooh, anything good? Yeah, a few things. So I look up and across the street, right in front of the Cheesecake Factory, waiting for a table is the craphead. <laughs> the craphead? You mean the craphead? Yes, I mean the craphead. The, the head of crap. Your ex, Thomas. Oh my god, he's here at the mall right now? And, and I'm sorry to have to tell you this because you're my friend and I love you, but... Yeah? Yeah? He... he was with a girl. What? Yeah, uh, a redhead. A redhead? A freaking redhead? Mm-hmm. But I hate redheads. I know you do. I know you do. Ever since that redheaded monster killed my father all those years ago. Well, she didn't kill your father. Well, she hurt him. She hurt him really bad. She did cheat on him with a circus performer. A trapeze artist and then ran away with her. Come on, ancient history, right? Well, now it seems like history is repeating itself, isn't it? Cycles. It's all it is. Cycles. Well, I, I don't think this chick's a trapeze artist, believe me. Okay, well, what did she look like? Was she prettier than me? Uh, no, definitely not. Was she tall? Yeah, she's really tall. Taller than him? It was hard to tell from across the street, but I think so. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman tall? You're dating yourself, hun. Hey, I'm not old. I'm just a student of pop culture from the days of yore. Days of what? You're a weirdo. Well, where did they go? What direction? South, I think. Which way is south? Um, over by PacSun. Uh, the PacSun closed, sweetie. It did? When? Like six months ago. You don't pay attention to anything around here, do you? Or, well, maybe you do, noticing my evil ex-boyfriend from across the street. Believe me, it was hard to miss her. She was a head taller than everybody else on the block. Well, my lunch is in 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, so what? Well, what if I just, I don't know, try to find them? Um, okay, try to find them, and then what? I don't know, see what they're up to, study them, track their movements. Track their movements? What is this, a nature documentary? Who are you, Richard Attenborough? Look, I'm just curious, okay, what's the big deal? Oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe the fact that you're stalking him? Stalking is such a general term. Okay, so how do you define it then? Well, um, I, I think stalking should be considered something that happens over a period of time. And how much time? Months? Weeks? Days? Yes, exactly. So what are you doing then? Just following them? No, more like uh, checking up. Whatever, Bobby. You're going to get yourself in trouble. Yeah, yeah. No, I won't. I'll be careful. I was a secret shopper back in the day, remember? But did you see what I just did there? I capitalized the T. Uh-huh. Yeah, so? Because you'd be in trouble with a capital T. Oh, come on. What could happen? What's the big deal? You're so dramatic. Sheesh. Um, well, he could see you, for one. No, he won't. Then what would you do? Just hide behind a bush? Yes, great idea. Those topiaries are huge. I'm afraid they're going to come to life and eat me. If you follow them and he catches you, you are going to be more embarrassed than you've ever been in your whole life. Well, somebody has to warn the poor girl off of him. He's deranged. I thought you just said you hate redheads. Don't you think she deserves him then, by your weird and twisted logic? Well, no. You know I have a good heart. She should be warned about him. Plus, if it ruins his week, I'm all for it. Well, I am too. I'm down for that. His month too, cheating bastard. I just have to get her alone is all. Well, how are you going to do that? Elementary, my dear star. Oh, 
Okay, where are you? Have you found them yet? Do you see them? No, not yet. I'm walking toward the pack sun. Well, I don't know if they're still in there now or if they ever were even in there in the first place. What do you mean? You said they went in the direction of the sun. Yeah, well, I said they went in that direction, but I don't know if they went in pack sun. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll just head over in that direction. Okay, fine, fine. I'm sorry. It's a really nice day outside. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, I'm approaching the square. Okay, do you see anything? Well, I see a lot of people and kids running through the fountains. I'll give you $50 right now if you run through it. You're insane. Go away. I'm going to sit down over here on this bench to take a look around. Okay, do it. Hmm, a lot of guys here today. Oh, yeah? Cute ones? No. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I see them. You do? Where? Oh, that's actually, uh, two guys. She doesn't look like a man, Bobby. She's just tall. Don't be tallest. Tallest? I'm not being tallest. You're a shortest. I am not a shortest. Bite your tongue. You wouldn't date that Alex guy because he was too short. Admit it. Yeah, so what? I admit it. Big deal. Maybe I am a shortest. Oh, hold up. Hold on a second. What? Do you see them? Oh my god, it's them. That's them. Ew, that's her? What? What's the problem? She's hideous is the problem. Oh, shut up. She is not. You are so catty. Cattiness has got nothing to do with it. I know ugly when I see it, and she is ugly. You're blinded by hate and vengeance. Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. But still, talk about going the opposite direction of me. And she isn't even the girl he cheated on you with. Ugh, what a scumbag. What did I ever see in him? I must have been out of my mind. Hey, can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, yeah, I know. You were right. I admit it. Blah, blah, blah. You're always right. About guys, I am. At least when it comes to other people's boyfriends. Never my own, sadly. That's why I'm doomed to die tragically alone. Well, that's a shame. Shut up. So listen, uh, what should I do? Well, you said you wanted to get her alone. You said, uh... Elementary, my dear star. Um, yeah, well, my only actual idea was to follow them. I really didn't think much ahead after that. As usual. Shut up. Okay, wait. They're eating something? They're eating snow cones. What flavor? Uh, raspberry, I think. Ooh, nice. She just dropped hers. Uh, she just dropped it right on her foot. <laughs> Loser. I think she's... Is she? She is. What? What is she? She's crying. She's crying? She's crying about her snow cone? She totally is. Oh, bless her heart. She can't handle him. He's going to destroy her, the poor girl. I have to warn her. Wait, she's getting up. She's going toward the bathrooms. Well, go and follow her there. Be a creep. I can't. Thomas is between us. There's no way I can get over there without him seeing me. Well, what's he doing now? Maybe you can sneak past him. He's... he's looking at his phone. Oh, okay, then now's your chance. He's texting me. Um, hey, Bobby. How are you? Uh, hey, Thomas. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, chilling out at home, watching a movie, having some sunny D. Chilling out at home, huh? Yep, it's too hot to go out, don't you think? I hate it. It's going to be a hot summer, probably. Uh, yeah, I bet so. So... I'm pretty surprised to be hearing from you, to be perfectly honest. Wow, so no small talk, huh? Well, why would I want to engage in any small talk with you after everything you pulled? What do you mean? Um, like cheating on me? You don't remember that? That was just an emotional affair, Bobby, I told you. That's really not what I heard. You heard it through the grapevine. You were playing a game of telephone, you and your little friends. Well, anyway, what do you want? I'm busy. Oh, uh, are you working today? Are you... Are you at the mall? Um, no. Just working around the house, Saul. Cleaning up. Chores. Oh yeah, you and your chores. I forgot about those. <laughs> Just kidding. How could I forget? Well, what is it, Thomas? What made you think to text me? Were you just sitting around the basement watching some dumb action movie for the millionth time eating peanut butter and you decided to text the girl that you cheated on and dumped just recently? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I did. Well, why do you save it, whatever it is? Hey, I'm texting you to apologize. Honestly, I am. I come with the best intentions. Apologize, huh? Apologize for what? For all of that, you know, for cheating on you. Well, why are you saying this to me now? Um, 
I don't know, I guess I just felt guilty. Well, don't feel guilty. It's over. It's in the past. Done and done. So you aren't at work today, huh? No, I told you I have the day off. Okay, well, uh, I was wondering if maybe, since you get that discount at Sunglass Hut, your friend working there and all. Yes, yes, and? Well, do you think I could maybe, I don't know, get a discount for me on some? For you? Really? Are you serious? You'd think I'd give you a discount on glasses after everything you've done? Well, no, I mean, it isn't for me. It's for somebody else. Well, I'd assume it's for somebody else if you said it wasn't for you, boy genius. Oh, uh, right, right. Um, but yeah, it's not for me, so you don't have to have a problem with it, okay? Well, who's it for, then? Just a... just a friend. Oh, a friend, huh? You got yourself a new little friend, do you? No, an old friend. Jeez, you're so paranoid, and it's none of your business anyway. Well, I think it is my business who gets my friends and family discount. What's the big deal? I don't get it. It's just an old friend. You don't have any old friends, Thomas. Well, whatever. The only friend you have is that crazy crazy star. What kind of a name is that anyway? Star. I have plenty of friends, believe me. Is, uh, is Star working today, by the way? I don't know. Why don't you stop by the hut yourself and see? I'm sure she'd love to see you. Yeah, she'd probably throw me right through the window. Ah, yes, the window. Well, are you going to give me the discount or not? No, Thomas, you are not getting the discount. I know you have a hard time hearing the word no, but you're just going to have to get used to it one of these days. Didn't your mommy ever teach you that? Don't you bring my mom into this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, just give us the discount, would you? Can't help you. It's really Star's decision only. Sorry, Tommy boy. But you could convince Star to give you a pair. I know you could. Can't help you, bud. Bye. Damn it, Bobby. So, are you still talking to him? What happened? You have to keep me in the loop! Alright, sorry, sorry. No, I'm not talking to him. Chill out. But can you believe this? He wanted me to get that little girlfriend of his... I mean, big girlfriend. A discount at the sunglasses hut. Can you believe the nerve of that guy? He actually said it was for his new girlfriend? No, of course not. He said it was for a friend or something. Oh, sure, sure. Well, did she ever come back from the bathroom? Did she stop crying? Yeah, she came out and her foot was blue. Stained blue. Oh, cool. Maybe that will be the new look. Blue foot. I doubt it very much. So where did they go now? Are you stalking them? I, uh, I mean following them. They are walking down past the Apple store. Are they going in? I don't know. No, they're walking. Ugh, they're walking so slow. Are they holding hands? Yeah. Gross. So, I don't know what to do now. How do I get her alone? I guess just keep following them and wait for your opportunity. I thought you were all slick and stuff. I lied. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, I knew you couldn't pull it off. Hey, it's not like I've gotten caught or anything. If I get caught, then you can gloat all you want, okay? And I will. I guarantee it. Wait, why don't you just call him? Me? Why? What would I say? Does he have my number saved? No, I don't think so, but you could block it anyway. Or, oh... An even better idea. Call from the store phone. Um, I'm not so sure I'm allowed to do that. Oh, come on, live a little. Fine, fine. What am I supposed to say? Um, I don't know. How about I just have Marlin up on the security page to his booth? Really? You think he'll hear that? If he cranks it up loud enough, he will. And believe me, I've seen him do it before. Things like a sound weapon. Well, okay. What if she comes with him, though? What do I do then? Oh, come on, she's not going to go with him. He's trying to impress her. Do you think she'd be okay with him getting called to security? I don't think so. He doesn't want her to see that. He'll just tell her it was a misunderstanding. Okay, well, what's Marlon going to tell him? What's his reason for paging him? Oh, uh, suspected of shoplifting. Well, that will freak him out. Yeah, then he holds on to him until you're done talking to the redhead. You mean, like, detain him? Yeah, sure, why not? But isn't that, like kidnapping? I mean, he didn't actually do anything. Oh, didn't he, Bobby? Didn't he? Hmm. Then after you're done, you text me, I text Marlon, he's free. Uh, whoops, it was all just a big misunderstanding. Wrong, Thomas, so sorry. I don't want to get Marlon fired, though. Relax, he does this kind of stuff all the time. That's not reassuring. Are all mall cops so corrupt? Corrupt? Marlon isn't corrupt. Well, Maybe he is, but only for the right reasons. For good people like us. 
Oh, okay. Well, as long as it's for good people like us. Bobby, you've got to help me, please. Um, what's wrong, Thomas? I'm at the mall, and I'm in security. Some big scary guy named Marlin is... is detaining me. Oh, well, why could that be? He's accusing me of stealing. He just called the cops. They're on their way. Wait a minute. He called the cops? Yes, then he pulled some earrings out of my pocket. I didn't put any earrings in my pocket, I swear. I'm not a thief. I may be a craphead, but I'm not a thief. Are you saying he, like, planted evidence on you? Yes, that's what I'm saying. He planted evidence, and now the cops are coming, and I'm going to get arrested. You have to come down here and tell them that I would never do that. Oh, well, are you sure you wouldn't? What do you mean? Of course I wouldn't. Well, I mean, you cheated on me. You wanted to cheat sunglasses out of my friend's employee discount. Who's to say you aren't just a cheat all around? But I'm not, I swear. Come on, please just come down here. My girlfriend is waiting. Oh, your girlfriend, huh? Yeah, yeah, whatever, Bobby. I don't have time for your freaking dramatics right now, okay? Can't you just send her a message for me or something? Oh, I think she already got the message loud and clear. What? What do you mean? Where is she? She's going home. She's waiting for an Uber. But, but, huh? What did you say to her? I said you're no good, cheating, craphead, of course, and you never clean your tub. Well, why am I here, though? Um, yeah, sorry about that. Planning evidence on you wasn't a part of the plan. For the record, it was Star's idea for Marlin to page you to the security booth. I don't think either of us knew he was going to do this. I honestly never thought mall cops were so corrupt. What? Are you serious? How naive are you? Mall cop is one of the most corrupt and shady professions in law enforcement. Oh, is it? How do you know? My uncle was a mall cop, remember? Uncle Jebby? Oh, yeah. Well, that explains it then. Damn it, Bobby. You have got to get me out of this. I'll think about it. You'll think about it? What do you mean, think about it? I can see the flashing lights. I mean, I'll give you a few hours to think about it. It'll do you some good. No, Bobby, no! After letting Thomas sit in a holding cell for a couple of hours, Bobby went to the police station and told them that it was all just a misunderstanding. However, for the redhead, the damage was done, and she never returned any of Thomas's calls or texts. Bobby and Star kept working at their retail jobs all summer before making a mutual pact to quit before the Christmas season, fearing it would drive them totally insane. They made good on it and both got jobs at a hip little coffee shop called Prest. Marlin the security guard is still working the booth, setting up people's enemies for a nominal fee.